Hey guys, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Supernatural. And currently Luna is looking at her brother Jack like, what the hell is wrong with you? I don't even know, but she is so freaking beautiful. I can't even get over it. Uh, so it's Sunday. They're just kind of relaxing, playing games. Mom has gone to work. She's headed off to work. We're going to have her meet some clientele, or she's about to actually. What was she doing? Oh, I think she was going to go mess with the alchemy. Uh, but she's going to head off to work and we're going to let the kiddos. Oh, that's right. They wanted to enter a gardening competition, or she did, and it's usually at noon, so I need to see what all we have to do in order to come over here and enter this gardening competition. And I just realized that they all want to drive, um, but I'm going to X out of this because they all are going to have a broom. They're not even going to drive a car. Like, there's no point in even teaching them that, so... I'm not even going to waste my time because they're going to have a broom. And I guess we could probably save up a little bit to get them, you know, a better one. So I'm going to see what we got to do. I'm just hoping it'll tell me what we have to do because, of course, I didn't. Uh, I didn't look. Okay. So let's see. Enter garden competition. Need a plant in order to compete. So can we take a plant out of her? Like, can we take, um, what do we got? Do we have anything that's, like, amazing? Ooh, we've got an outstanding quality. Oops, I gave it to the wrong sim. I gave it to the wrong girl. All right, can we do... <gasps> yes, we can! Okay, so we're going to have Salem come over here and enter this gardening competition with an outstanding wolf spain, which is super exciting. And she, uh, what does she want to do? Cast conversion spell. Okay. I think I'm going to actually have both of them play with magic so that they can get their magic skill up and just kind of, you know, do some stuffs. And we're going to come over here with Salem and we're going to go with her to see what we can do. Girl, I want your boots so bad. Like, I need some boots like this so, so bad. I've been wanting some, but I can't find any that are, you know, not a million dollars. Well, not really a million dollars, but you guys know. <laughs> I don't really buy like clothes and stuff like that for myself too often unless it's super cheap just because, you know, I don't know. I just don't spend money, money on stuff like that, but I wish I could, but I just don't have the money to do it. All right. Salem Hollow has entered an outstanding Wolfsbane flower in the gardening competition. So I'm not quite sure what kind of comes of this, but we're going to just kind of wait around. She wants to earn a raise. Are we going to get a promotion? No, we just got a promotion. So we will probably not get a raise. Um, let's go ahead and lock it in just in case, just in case. And we're going to go see if we can hang out with, oh, what was that guy's name that you guys wanted? You guys wanted the really cute vampire, uh, Blade. We're going to see if he wants to hang out today because last time was kind of a fail. And I think that was our fault because we, um, we were outside and I think he was burning. So maybe we can go to his house or something or I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. We'll have to kind of kind of see because I'm still not sure what Draco's intentions are. So and I don't know how or if we get like little updates or if we just kind of chill here or what we're doing, but we're going to, we're going to kind of speed through this. Oh, 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 never mind. Jack has increased his magical abilities with the knowledge and he's learned the fire and ice blast spells. Play with the elements carefully as they can affect sims and even inanimate objects strongly. Okay. So I don't know. She looks like she did the same thing. I don't know if we're, are we, are we doing this? Like, I'm so confused. She's met, oh, wait a minute, hold on a second here. Okay, so Morgan has met all her coworkers. The outstanding Wolfsbane flower entered by Samuel Hollow placed third in the competition. Ooh, so she won 500 simoleons. Um, does she get to keep it or no? Okay, so she just won some money for that, which is, that's fine. I mean, whatever, we need money, so why the heck not? Uh, I was hoping, because, man, I need to make some, like, teen sims, like, girls and boys for these guys so that they can have more friends because they don't really have any friends. So... I think we're going to let her, let's see, is there anything exciting that we can do? Maybe we can have her go try to visit her dad. Uh, nobody's home. Are they? Raven is out at the park. This park? Are they all over here? Um, I really do need to turn on story progression because you guys told me to do that and I should. Ooh, who are you? Are you a teen? Come over here and introduce yourself to her. Uh, charming introduction. Um, I think... She's a 
a team? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. So we'll have to kind of see. Uh, Salem just saw the ghost of Violet Slimer. Who the hell is this Violet Slimer person? Hold on. I need to see who this person is. Like, and where did they go? Okay, here. Are you a team? Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to her, too? Because, I mean, we've been running into her, so... I'm just curious if she is a teen or not. I don't think she is. No, she looks like she's older. So never mind. Sophie Rogers. Okay, we're going to go back to the park. And hopefully this girl is still here. Because I'm pretty sure she is a teen. I could be wrong. She wants to visit the park. So I'm going to lock that in. What do you want to do? You want to cast an ice blast. Clean up. You want to cast an ice blast at someone? We might be casting that at your damn dad if he doesn't get his life together. So she wants to cast a good luck charm on her, but we're not going to do that. We're going to have her come over here and see. I just can't tell if she's a teen, and it would be kind of nice if they had some friends, you know, their age. I need to add some people, but it's like, it's so much harder in the sims 3 than the sims 4 adding sim families to me because like you can just open the gallery and just add families you know in the sims 4 whereas the sims 3 you have to like either create them or like download them and do all this other stuff so it's just easier in sims 4 to populate your world all right and of course it's gonna start freaking raining of course it is of course, of course, of course. Hopefully Blade will want to kind of hang out and just kind of see what he's about. Um, uh, I guess we can go to his house, maybe. Let me see here. I'm so curious really quickly if this is a teen because she looks like she's definitely a teen. And we might, oh my gosh, get out of my face. We might have to do a makeover on her and she could be their friend. I don't know why she's like, it says Salas, and isn't that family a family of ghosts? So I don't know if there's maybe something wrong with her. Oh my god, what happened? <gasps> oh my freaking <laughs> Agatha is pissed. All right, well, you guys want to cast that fire blast or ice blast. You want to cast an ice blast. Come on. You want to do it? Let's do it. Cast that ice blast on her. Oh my god. Her face. I did not mean to do that. Her face is absolutely killing me right now. Like, okay, Agatha, you just chilling in the park looking pissed off. Can't even take a shower. We got some people over here flirting it up. Okay, let's see. How, who are you? How are you and who are you? Because you look like you're, you're actually really cute. So, um... To ask you about career. Okay, it says she has a degree, so maybe she's not a teen. Um let's see here. Let's let's just kind of get to know her a little bit. Oh, it says ask about alma mater, so she must not must not be a teen. I am so confused. Well, let's just figure this out really quickly. Oh, okay, high school. Alright, well that's interesting. Well, we can kind of befriend her. We can do a good luck charm on her. Um, we'll maybe brighten her day a little bit. So how do you have all of this? Like, you have a communications degree, girl, you are in high school still. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Agatha, what are we going to do with you, honey? Like, what are we going to do? I hope this doesn't backfire on him. Oh my God, please don't. Okay. <gasps> Okay, it didn't. It didn't backfire on him, thank goodness. We're going to just have the whole family ice blasting, fire blasting. We're just going to have them all doing it. She wants to cast an ice blast, so. Oh, my goodness. That is so hilarious. Like, her face, I cannot get over it. Um, Has your dad come home? No, but why don't you go visit the Grimm household? And what are you doing? Oh, you're going to cast a good luck charm. Okay. We might have you just kind of go over here as well when you're done. And what is your sister doing? She's just kind of chilling at home, doing her own thing. Should we have her work on some alchemy? Maybe she could work on some of that alchemy. Ooh, actually, no. I want to I wanna mess with this thing. Why don't we do... Can I have a... <gasps> can I have a friend? Yes, let's see what that is. I don't know if you actually get a friend or what, but let's see. Let's see what it says. This would be interesting. 
me get a picture. Okay, there we go. She's so freaking cute. Okay. Smiling like Agatha, but like in a happy way. Agatha was like in a painful way. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know. How that, how did that go? This isn't the best time I have problems to, you know? Oh, well, <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, let's see if Blade is home. I can't remember where he lives, of course. Oh, okay, and I say that and I always land on his house. Like, I say always and that's happened literally twice. But it's so weird. It's like, they just, my, my mouse just goes to where he is. So we're going to go to his house. We're going to visit him. Ooh, there are some spotlight mushrooms over here we might have to collect. I'm going to make sure he doesn't leave. But we're going to kind of, you know, visit him and we're going to be inside so he doesn't burn his, his freaking tukus off. So... <laughs> Hopefully they'll be able to kind of hang out a little bit, a little bit longer. Um, I don't know if this is going so well. So we're going to let her go home and you can, oh, you're, oh, you guys are, wait, hold on. I forgot you were, yeah, it's fine. Go home. It's fine. Cause you just, you're just talking to your aunt and I don't want you to do, oh, we wanted to become friends with her. Oh, we'll have to have them all have a day out. Uh, let's see. It's fall. So maybe we can have like a spooky party or something, a costume party or something like that and whatnot and invite our whole family minus Agatha. All right. So it looks like he's going to invite us inside. Kind of curious where Draco is, to be honest, because he's just like nowhere to be found. Is he home? Nope. He's not home. I don't know what he's doing with his life, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, we're going to turn your music off, even though there's no music playing, we're still going to kind of turn it off. And really quickly, why don't you, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I was going to have you change your outfit into your everyday wear, please, and thank you. And then we're going to kind of chat it up with him. Let's, um, let's be friendly. Let's ask his sign. Where are you going, honey? I don't, what, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I think he's brooding. I think, I think he's brooding. Okay, um, you could calm down for like just a minute because I want a little bit, I want to get to know you a little bit. Ask you if he's single because that's important. Um, let's compliment his dental hygiene, I guess. Um, you guys are like super in love with him. He is super cute. Um, we'll compliment his home. Maybe be a little bit funny with him. Okay, so he's, oh, he's family oriented. Okay, and he is a Gemini. Alrighty. This guy is actually a sim that was generated through story progression. Progression? Why did I say that weird? Progression? He's ambitious, okay? Um, and I just kind of saved him because I was like, okay, story progression, you be, you be, you be, uh, getting some pretty good looking sims. Leave the teens alone. We're not going to do that. Not right now, at least. Maybe in the future, but right now, I don't want to. Um, we're going to enthuse, or we're going to get to know him enthuse. What am I even talking about? We're going to discuss work. Okay, that was like really weird. That was some really weird interactions. I don't know if you guys saw that. All right, so he thinks we're being amusing. I guess that's good. <laughs> At least they're like talking. Oh God, this chair, I tell you, I can't even move like the slightest without this chair making a freaking damn noise um maybe we can get some food together she's a little bit hungry um enthused about magic i think that's what i was gonna do when i said enthused earlier and i ended up saying or clicking get to know because you know it's me uh so let's see did we ever find out if he's single because i wasn't paying attention okay he is not single or he is single oh what the hell get it together um maybe we can talk about supernatural and then we're going to see if we can form a group and go get some food with him. Even though, you know, he's, he doesn't eat the same food as us, but we're just, they're just kind of getting to know each other. And he seems to be okay so far. You know, he's, he's, he seems like pretty chill. He's got some pretty good qualities. He's ambitious and he's family oriented. So not too shabby. All right. So she's talking about damn unicorns. <laughs> to check up on the kiddos and of course they're not feeding themselves or doing anything they should be but you know whatever teens will be teens 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Can we get some food with you now? Uh, Draco. Oh! <gasps> Draco Grimm would like to chat. Yes, of course, of course. He's actually going to give some sort of, like, he's going to actually call us and want to, you know, be in our life. Because that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Okay, we met a vampire. I don't know why that didn't work, but let's see if he wants to actually form a group. Oh, it doesn't look like he wants to. I wonder if he's, like, really tired. Um, I'm too tired to hang out right now. Maybe I've, I've had some rest. Maybe we're just going to cheat this <laughs> and go, oopsies, didn't mean to actually click on that. Go to the diner, eat here with others with Blade Adams. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it that way since, you know, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to help me out. And we got to check up on these kids because they are not taking care of the damn selves. Um, of course, they're just sitting here playing with magic. So why don't you eat some pancakes, go to sleep. She's talking to her dad. And when she's done, we'll have her kind of go to sleep as well. What did she do? She's out in the rain chatting. It is too much. Okay, let's see. What is your, your relationship with your dad is good. Not good and good. Okay, so we got to work on Salem. Salem really needs to get a relationship with her dad because everybody else at least has like some sort of a friendship with him. So we're going to have to work on that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just kind of, let the kiddos go to bed. Let her get some dinner. We're going to actually let them stay for dessert. And if anything, like, exciting happens, I'll cut back. But otherwise, I'm just going to probably pick up in the morning when, you know, the kids are going to school and we do in the daily. So All I'll right, see guys. So we are back. And they got a little – it's after school, by the way. It's kind of late in the day because they got up and just went straight to school. Uh, and this time it was Jack who had a problem getting to school. I don't know what the problem is with this lot, but it's really annoying. I'm going to say that. Uh, but they kind of wanted to all learn, or not learn, but take an after school class. And also, there is prom. Um, so, we're going to have to see. Prom is Thursday. We're going to see. I might, if I can remember, try to place down a family with, like, multiple teens or something. So that they can have a date. Because my sims never have a date. So, I'm going to try to do that but they do want to take an after school class every one of them did so let me see what could we have you do um so she's good hydrophobic green thumb and ambitious so what should we have her do um that's really i mean she could she's not really artistic um maybe we could just have her do like study club we'll just have her do study club and she is an artistic one, so we'll have her sign up for art club. And Jack is brave, daredevil, angler. Uh, what could we have Jack do? Shop club, sports club, drama club, debate club. He just, I feel like we could do, like, he doesn't have any sort of music ability, but I could see him being into music more than sports. I don't really see him being in a sports, maybe shop. Maybe we'll do shop club. We'll do shop club for him. There we go. We'll get them all in an after school activity so that they kind of have, you know, just some stuff to do. Um, ooh, you want to throw a slumber party? Ooh, we might do that in the next part. We'll go ahead and throw a slumber party. Um, he actually wants to dye or cut his hair, but we're not going to do that. And we're not going to stop being friends with Salem. Girl, get out of here. Okay. Are you okay? It looks like she's in there. They're all in there getting their after school activities ready to go, which is super exciting. Um, I think that, like only one of them met a sim. Okay, this guy is high school. Um, but I think somebody met a girl, and I can't remember who it was. It must have been Salem. Yeah, so Salem met Whitney, Whitney Chu. But you guys know I don't want any vanilla face sim. And she looks like a vanilla face sim. So we're probably not going to ask one of them. I'm just going to have to, after I film this, or at least try um, to... Where even is that at the park? Well, how come our dad isn't? We're going to visit the festival with our freaking siblings and kind of just 
you know, do what we got to do. What are you doing? You're really selling it, but I want you to do like some group readings. Oh, and after they had dinner last night, her and Blade, she became friends with him and now she wants to become good friends with him. So at least dinner went well. You know, there wasn't anything too exciting or nothing like to, you know, tell you guys. So that's why I just kind of kept on going and we just went to school today and didn't do anything again too exciting, but we will throw a slumber party. <gasps> oh my gosh. We need to give our kitty cat some love and oh my gosh. 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 Okay. Somebody's got to go home. We're going to make Jack come home. Jack, you're coming home. Why don't you praise for being a stalker? We're going to scold you for being aggressive because I don't want an aggressive cat. Um... Please don't get taken away, Magic. Please, 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 please. I didn't even notice. I haven't even gotten any sort of, like, notification that Magic was, like, in that severe of a situation. We can always have him come join his uh, sisters, but we need to make sure Magic does not get taken away. Maybe we need to, uh, ooh, she received a toy alligator from the claw. Um, maybe we need to adopt another pet. Should we get another pet, like a cat or a dog? I don't know if I want another cat or if I want a dog. Um, but we're going to need something so that when Magic is home all day by herself or himself, that we're not going to get him taken away. Because seriously, that just scared me really bad. Oh my god, what did you do? What? What did you do? What? What have you done? Are you about to... Okay, I was going to say, are you about to eat a poison apple? Because I can't deal with that. Um, I don't know what you think you're doing with your life, but you could probably stop. Okay, I think magic will be okay if he kind of comes comes here and joins us. Um, okay, gator wolf. Okay, that's that's a little interesting. All right, so we're gonna not go home, go here. You also go here, don't anybody go home, okay? We're gonna have a freaking family day. Mother Bear is at home, when well, at work, I mean. And we're gonna do, I was gonna have them do something like, they wanted to have that pie contest, ooh. Okay, girl, go over here and we're gonna harvest a couple of apples, I almost said, but no, we're gonna harvest a couple of pumpkins so that we can kind of have those. You're gonna come here, your brother is gonna come over here and we're gonna have a freaking day of family stuff, okay? Okay, so hopefully after she harvests these. Okay, are you, do I really have to watch every single thing that you guys do? Cause this is, this is gonna be annoying. Okay, we're gonna have you stop harvesting and we're gonna have you come over here and we're gonna enter an eating contest with Luna and Jack. So we're gonna enter an eating contest with our whole family, a little apple pie or whatever eating contest. Okay, I think everybody's gonna be coming over here. I just don't know what she was thinking at all. Oh, they had a little eating contest when they were kids, and now they're having an eating contest when they're teens, and oh my gosh, I just, I can't even look at you. I can't even look at you, Luna. What did you do to your face? I have to admit, though, they did have beautiful children. Like, he is super cute. The girls are beautiful, so at least they had beautiful children. I just can't even believe we had triplets, though, like... I think that still scars me because <laughs> runaway teen challenge. Let's make it a challenge. We're just going to have one kid. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. We're going to have three. Alrighty. So place your bets. Who do we think's going to win? Who do we think? I'm going to say crazy over here with the little face paint or whatever she's decided to do, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So far, I can't really tell. Uh oh. What happened? Oh, these damn ghosts every time. Oh, I think she might actually win. I think Crazy Luna might actually win. That's what I'm going to start calling her. Like, Okay. Because her plate started to show the white part first. So, Luna, are you going to be the winner here? Because I think she is. Holy shit, she is, you guys. Oh, my God. This girl, like, are you all right? Like, I'm just curious. Like, are you, are you right in the head? Because... I don't think you are. <laughs> I don't think you really are, but that's okay because I just absolutely love you. 
favorites. You can tell I have a favorite, but really, I love them all. But Luna, there's just something about her. I don't know what it is about her, but she's just so crazy, and I love her. What are her traits, anyways? Yeah. She's, she's just, she's not crazy, really, but... You know, I don't know. There's just something about Luna that I love and I don't know what it is. So Luna is the pie master in the eating competition. She won a week's supply of pie and bragging rice. You can all go home now. I think that's what they're going to do. Yeah, they're all going to head home, which is totally fine because we need to put that pie in the fridge. I also had her purchase some books, some cooking books, because I'm tired of cooking the same thing every morning. So we're going to have her read a couple of these guys and... Then when they get home, we're going to put this. Ooh, she got key lime pie. And then when she gets home, which is hopefully, hurry, 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 so we can put this in the fridge. There we go. Can we have one of the kiddos come out here? Smoke the box, clean the box. Feed the bees, harvest the honey, smoke the box, clean the box, feed the bees, and harvest the honey because we have not been taking care of the bees. So I can imagine they're not going to be in the best mood. So what I'm going to do is just kind of have her read all of these books so that we have some new freaking books and some new recipes to, you know, make some better food. Uh, and in the next part, I think we're going to throw a slumber party. We don't exactly have a lot of room. Girl, where did you get that ring from? Like, excuse me? Where did you get that ring from? Just wondering. Um, we don't have a lot of room for a slumber party, but we're going to throw one anyways because they want to. So I figure, why the heck not? So in the next part, that is what we will do. We'll try to see if we can get some interaction with Draco because, again, he's pretty much been MIA. He called Luna, was it? I think it was Luna who he called. So we'll have to see how it goes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video if you guys are enjoying it. Subscribe before you go if you have not already. Also, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I upload, which is usually every single day except for Sunday. And as usual, I love you all so very much, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.